Hello colors, my name is Teal and welcome back to Axiom Verge. Last time we searched a lot for new objectives and new things and I think it's time to find a boss, sincerely. We just find upgrades and many other things but we don't seem to find another boss or a progress in the story. Let's see if today we find that. Okay, I think we got all the weapons now. Let's check. What is up there? Oh, okay. Maybe we can get up there. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, I didn't get the technique quite, but now I got it. Okay. Okay, so once we get here, what? Come on. We need to get somewhere. Guess I need to come here. Not with the face hugger, but with myself. So. That sucks. Yep, that sucks. Anyway. Okay, never got to check out. Okay, nothing to... Well, I couldn't find out what the thing was with that part there. Okay, let's go back to... I don't know, let's just go back and see where we have to go next, because... Quite lost here. Okay, we can go here now. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I don't like those ones. I think we need the fire. Come on, nice. Burn it with fire. Nice, I don't wanna fuck. God, not again. Jesus. Thank you, Drill, but... Man, this, that sucks, man. Okay. What is this? Another document which is unreadable? Oh, no, the breach. Our best conjecture thus far is that it is a forced relinking of the lattices underlying adjacent universes. The breach attractor then has some capacity to shift the points at which the lattices link. The region beyond the breach remains intact as when the breach recedes. The atmosphere and surrounding ocean don't encounter a vacuum in its absence, though there is a strong disturbance in the currents once the two sides meet again. Outside of a breach elevator, passing through the breach can be fatal. fatal sorry. The Sudrans used this as a makeshift shield to keep out intruders, or, as in our case, to keep something else trapped in. Based on their writings, it seems that the Sudrans have long ago lost a scientific understanding of what the breach truly is, perceiving it as an intense meteorological phenomena rather than a divider between worlds. A7 hypothesized that the breach itself is invisible and that the effect we see in the sky is in fact a projective field of microscopic elements covering the frayed ends. Okay, only understood half of that, but okay, yeah, we, we are in another world, it's hard to enter. They made it to in order to protect breach, which is this. So, oh right, maybe we can get 
there now, right? Oh. Didn't want that, but... Is there any way we can get this down there? Oh! Okay. And how can we do that? By going here and maybe going down here? Down here? No? Yes. We can note that and try something later. Okay, I think we can get there. Through here? Maybe? Then check this. Uh huh. What is this? New world? Oh god, I'm getting quite lost to be honest. Well, I think I know where we are, but still. Still confusing as fuck. Okay. Now we're on a grassy land. Oh god. Okay. Okay, let's check this first. Okay. These little dudes just fly to me like crazy. This sounds like end game music, to be honest. Just saying, just saying. Okay, here's that green thing which. we can't destroy yet because it's the last thing we have left to do right destroying the the green walls or are they impossible to destroy hmm Give me health! I hate this! Oh god, look at my health. Okay, can't do much. Can we discover now the thing to destroy? The green walls, maybe? Oh god, I don't like... What is that? Oh god. I'm gonna die, yeah. Oh god. Well, see you in a bit. And again. Yay! Alright, we're back here. Let's not die from these fuckers now. 
Okay, I guess I have to pull out this electric beam, which is the best. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Robert. I want to find whatever it is to break those. Okay, here is where we left off. I don't like the snail, to be honest. Like, is there any way? <laughs> what can I do, man? Jesus. This is worse than a boss fight. I swear. Nice. Okay, so with this weapon I can do a lot better. Okay. Can go down or to the right. Hmm. Let's go to the right. Okay, a pretty big... Oh god. Okay, giant green worms, that's disgusting. Okay, Jesus Christ. Man, I can touch them. How can I touch them? Getting on my nerves. I need a safe station, please. This is pretty bad guys, pretty bad. Let's hope I get Okay. Mm. I don't wanna go anywhere. I guess it's face hugger time. Okay. Don't kill me, please. Okay, it's not face hugger time. Oh god, that's a boss. Okay, I guess we'll find out later. But I need that safe station, so can I go up there by any means? Jesus! Stop! Hello colors, my name is Teal and today is a brand new day. I just needed a fresh start to get past those things because I really was really really tired and uh, frustrated as you saw in the video so yeah, hope I can get past it now. Okay, we're here on the first try, I swear the uh, big paws helped a lot. Got past these, good job. I wanna do a quick check here down here. 
Okay, I know where we are, okay. Is that a... Wait, 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 wait. No, no. We need to go back. That's a safe station, right? Okay, that's... Uh-oh. Can I get... Yeah. Oh, I can get this now. Yeah. Yeah, I... I speak 41 languages and... This is my 14th language. Yeah, I swear. Okay, that's safe. And let's get back up. Okay, here we got the green thing. Aha! I knew it. Oh god. Okay, and I guess Facehugger can get there. Nice. Let's see. Axiom 1. A. All algorithms are universal and valid, regardless of whether they are executed. Executed. Dot. B. Cognition is a sub-algorithm whose behavior is to perceive properties of the par parent algorithm describing it. C. Any algorithm giving rise to cognitive entities will be perceived as reality by the entities described. This axiom is from my paper, the one that earned me that nickname. Mm -hmm. And what, th what does that mean? Okay, it's it's okay. We've created all this. We messed up. I don't know, but deal with it, man. Okay, I hate already these birds. Back to basics. Well, at least we saved there, so. Man, <laughs> fuck this shit. Gotcha. Okay, what's up with the worm? Oh, thank you. Okay. I think we can now calmly try to get this, which I think is like that. Nope. Okay, let's try again. Ugh, so close. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get to that safe station. Yeah, awesome. And it's boss time. You ready for this, guys? You ready for these colors? Has been a while since we met the last boss. Oh, hello skeleton. Let's go. Let's just run into it. Straight into it. Oh god. That's disgusting, man. Oh god, what the hell is this? Grrrr. Trace, that is an aborted clone of Athetos. This is how Athetos makes soldiers. Oh. What do I do? Can't he be healed? It is too late. He's dying. He should not even have survived this long. Okay. Well. Hardest boss ever. I've had it. I can't do this anymore. I know I'm him. I'm in some messed up way, I'm a Thetos. So tell me, now, what the hell is going on? Ophelia? It's true, you are a Thetos, or would be, if you continued on as you were. But you were not one of these clones. The Athetos that made this is much older, changed. After Athetos arrived here, we discovered it was not for first time. What? He apparently made his way here once before, when he was your age. Legend has it 
he was kinder then, and he used one of the rebirth chambers. Let me get this straight. I came here at some point years ago before this plague happened? Yes, and you used a rebirth chamber. The red mechanical egg I woke up in, but clearly that wasn't the first time, or we'd have no Athetos. The original exist exited the chamber at be and became a Thetos. You are a copy made from the data left behind. We gambled that a much, a much younger Athetos would be different, that you would help us. So why don't I remember coming here? Copy or not, I shouldn't have had any sense of time passage. It should have felt like any other time I stepped into an egg and stepped immediately out. We don't know, all of this happened long ago. Hundreds of years ago, even. That, that uh, degradation? What exactly do you remember? You first. What made the Thetos want to attack this world? Or is that part even true? It is true. It is the entire reason we are here. The years have changed him, Trace. He was in the breach for a long time. We don't know what happened here. I need to talk to him. He'll tell me what's going on. That's what I would do. No, you will continue as planned. And how are you going to make me do that exactly? Like this. Ah! Sometimes something's wrong. I'm. I'm... What the hell? Maybe these robots are Athetos allies? Or are the true enemy? I don't know, man. Really, they, they, they brought me back here. <laughs> That's unfair. Come on. Yeah, holy crap, that was excruciating. Trace, are you okay? Hell no, what just happened? Else Nova, she hates Athetos, and as you pointed out, you are him. Just now, what happened to me? Did she... Yes, she can shut down your nanogates at any time. I brought you back, this goes much faster with your help. Please find Athetos and speak with him, if that's what you want. You don't have to fight him. We just need the breach attractor shut down. Can you do that? Okay, but no killing him. Agreed. I'm going to talk to Elsnova. She'll come around. So Elsnova has feelings. Oh, great. Robot with feelings. That's always a good thing, right? I'm going to end this here, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, all my rage quit and... Uh, me being lost. Yeah, you know, it's a classic in this game. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye!